So in Saudi Arabia, about uh, a week ago, um, a family was out shopping at a shopping mall mm -hmm. when the father noticed that one of his young daughters started acting strangely. And she was standing near, apparently, in whatever store they were in, she was standing near a woman who was from, is from, Sri Lanka. So the father uh, immediately decided that what was going on was that this Sri Lankan woman was a witch, <laughs> and he promptly had her arrested for witchcraft. Okay. Now, Saudi Arabia is a ally of the United States in the Middle East, mm -hmm. uh, one of our biggest supporters, I believe, and the crime uh, of sorcery is punishable by beheading. And the only evidence, if we can call it that, against this woman is the fact that this man's daughter started acting weird, whatever that means, while this woman was nearby. Okay. And on that alone, she may be beheaded. So she's been arrested, she's, she's like been arrested. undergoing a trial? or what? Um, I don't think that's begun yet, but it's... But that was still Interesting to, to note arrested. that the father reported her to security forces asking for the arrest, um, and the police arrested her swiftly. Saudi Arabia um, is an absolute monarchy, which actually has no written criminal code, um, and court rulings are based on individual judges' interpretation of Sharia law. Wow. So, uh, and like I said, the, the punishment is always beheading for someone found guilty of witchcraft. Um, so how's the punishment always beheading if they don't have a written code? Well, just I imagine it's, they just decided that was the way to go at some point. It, it, probably just traditional, like, uh, well, we've always beheaded witches in the past, let's so just let's keep, keep on that doing. with that. I, you know, I, I don't know, I'm not familiar with the practice of Sharia law as it is in Saudi Arabia, uh -huh. but, um, you know, Amnesty International is, uh, you know, condemning these kinds of things. Um, apparently, uh, just in December, a, a woman was beheaded, um, because she was convicted on charges of sorcery. Uh -huh. Um, so unfortunately for the Sri Lankan woman, it probably isn't going to end well, but, um, is there... Is there a more imaginary crime than witchcraft? Not that I can think of off the top of my head. You know, I mean... Well, you would, you would think they'd at least have something like the, the daughter had a seizure at that moment or something something more dramatic that would would have some sort of ev ev evidential, you know... Sure, but remember that ability. in... We talked about a story not that long ago about uh, a girl in South Africa who was killed um, due to demonic possession and her only uh, symptoms of demonic possession apparently was that she had been depressed for a couple days. She had seemed withdrawn and, and right. that was enough. So um, all over the world apparently sorcery and, and demonic possession or these sort of evil magics they manifest through like strange behavior of children and, yeah. and that seems like a pretty crap reason to behead someone, but that's just me. Absolutely. So, hmm. outcasts out.